you know, it's the 11th of January. Welcome to 2021. I'm very excited to be here. And actually, before we dig into our first festival playlist of the year, I hear you do have a very special, highly requested car to show off first, right? Yeah, that's right. So uh, hot on the heels of another highly requested car, the Koenigsegg Yesco, in last month's update, we have another massively requested car, one that I, th I think probably more than any other has been uh, hounding us in all of our Twitter mentions for uh, the last <laughs> number of months, and that is the 2020 Corvette C8. All right. Should we take a look at it in action? Let's I have think a look. we should. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So there it is. The Corvette C8 is officially coming to Forza Horizon 4. But Mike, Dave, can you tell us a bit more about why this is so desirable? Well, I mean, we just saw that awesome trailer. It, I think it's desirable <laughs> because it probably is one of the, the very best looking cars around at the moment. It gives you supercar performance in an awesome shell like that. Go on, Dave, tell, tell us about the car. Yeah, let's roll the clip. Yeah, so um, this is the um, the eighth generation model, hence the uh, C8. And I suppose the, the biggest difference between the C7 and the C8 is engine is now, it's in the middle of the car, so it's mid-engined. And that's to give the car better weight distribution and just to give it a better sports car performance. So that engine is a V8. It will give you 495 brake horsepower, 407 pound feet of torque, and zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. So it's really, really cool performance from this car. And um, yeah, another really thing we just love about this car is just the styling of it. It just looks so cool. Um, we've actually got the Z51 performance package version in uh, Forza Horizon 4. So that actually comes with a few visual quirks. Um, like there's a really cool uh, bumper and new spoiler and it comes with a slight increase in performance as well yeah so super super awesome looking car and i think um what i love about it as well is it's got like uh, quite an exotic look it's kind of it feels like an exotic supercar but it's from, from um you know from from, it's a Chevy Corvette, and it's a, it's it's like it's like a muscle car, sports car kind of hybrid that just looks and drives really well. Um, I suppose you're all wondering how do I get my hands on this car? Well, this car can be unlocked by completing the Find New Road Seasonal Championship in summer. We'll be going through the entire festival playlist later, but um, just a little sneak peek of how to get it. Yeah, it's a, it's an absolute stunner of a car. So it has that um, that. The performance of an Italian supercar, but it has the really aggressive looks and styling yeah. of an American muscle car. It's super exciting. Can't wait to get my yeah, hands on it in the game. Picked up on the aggressive bit by the sounds of it pretty quickly. <laughs> Not gonna lie on that. <laughs> there are a couple of the new cars on the way. There one there. There are yes. So we've also got the 1990 got the 1990 Camaro IROC Z. So this is a, another really cool muscle car, a bit older, um, but very iconic. So IROC actually stands for the International Race of Champions. Now this was a race series where some of the best drivers in the world would come to compete, and they would all race in exactly the same car. So it'd all be the same stock. They'd be tuned to be exactly the same. And the reason for that, which made it so exciting, was that it was a real test of your driving capabilities because you were all in the exact same car. It wasn't just about the performance or how you tuned it. It was purely how you could handle the car on the track. Um, and so the Camaro was actually used as part of this race series. It was used from sort of the mid um, 80s, to the late 80s as part of this uh, championship, which is why it's got the name IROC there. So I suppose, um, that's kind of why it's made it a bit of a cult classic. It was popular not just um, on the racetrack, but on the road as well. And I think a lot of that can be owed to the fact that it was used um, in this really iconic uh, championship. Yeah, and this was the, the last car to have the, the IROC uh, 
IROC, IROC badge and IROC trim level. Um, so it really was the kind of the end of an era for a really, a really cool range of, of, of Camaro cars. Yeah, and it's, it's got everything you'd expect from Massacre, right? It's a front engine, rear-wheel drive, V8, uh, low profile and wide stance. It just gives it that really cool um, sort of American muscle car look. Absolutely love it. And actually, you can change the way it looks um, with the hood as well. So if you go to the garage um, at the festival site and change the look of the car, you can actually switch out the hood for a VFN fiberglass um, hood. Or there's a really, really cool uh, Forza Horizon 4 street hood, which has this massive hood scoop that completely changes the look and feel of the car. Uh, this car will be unlocked by completing 50% of festival playlist in winter. Cool. Should we take a look at the next one? So next up, we have one more new car in this update, and it is the the adorable, uh, the Honda <laughs> S800. So this is from very early in Honda's life as an automaker. So this followed on from the S600, uh, but they'd only really recently transitioned from being a motorbike manufacturer at this point. Obviously, they still made motorbikes, but this was one of their first cars. Uh, and for that reason, it has uh, a motorbike engine in it. So yeah, they've, they've used one of their 800cc inline four motorbike engines, but uh, dropped it into this rather adorable little sports car body. Um, and it has that really, I think, quite quite cute style and quite su super super stylish you can just imagine driving around in the uh dr driving around in, the, in, 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 in a, on a summer's day in in like 1970 in one of these you'd have looked absolutely awesome um has 70 brake horsepower that's seven zero so uh, <laughs> that's one seventh as powerful as the corvette c8 um <laughs> but it, it makes up for that by being really adorable um so, You're really yeah, complimentary you got... of this one. It's just adorable and little and it small. It is, cute, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, if you've got a really long straight and, and the wind at your back, you might be able to reach about 97 mile an hour. Um, but obviously, this this is Horizon, so you can take that to the garage, add some upgrades, and uh, I'm sure you can get much more than 97 miles an hour out of it. Dave, you were saying you turned one into a, a bit of a rally beast earlier. Yeah, I did, yeah. So I was playing on the build earlier this morning, and I actually took it through. You can put a rally engine in it put some off-road tires on it and it actually makes a pretty good um off-road drag racer for the the beach drag strip um it was yeah it's really really cool and i i suppose um that's what i love about this car right because you look at it and you think oh it's a very very quaint car but you can then just go and put a uh, a, a new engine in and just turn it into a bit of an off-road monster so it, it's it's funny if you listen to the audio as well the um because it was using the motorbike um engine it actually had a high rpm which was kind of a key attribute to this car where it was getting around 10,000 RPM when it's at its peak, so it sounds like it was like really screeching. So there's kind of this like you look at it, you know, very, very lovely car, but it's got a real kind of screech and uh, yeah, really, really fun one to get. And so I, I imagine to... Honda don't. I imagine Honda don't call that a screech. To be honest, they... <laughs> <laughs> screech. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they don't put adorable it's... in every single description of it. As <laughs> well. I think we go for tone. It's got a really... tone. A tone. <laughs> 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 but you can unlock this car by completing that 70s championship in spring in festival playlist, which makes a good segue. Should we have a look at festival playlist? Oh, let's go. For it. Let's do it. <laughs> Brilliant. So, um, series thirty-one at uh, fifty percent series completion, you will get a backstage pass. If you don't know what that is, once you've earned it, you can take it to the Horizon backstage and get one of the, some of the rarest cars in the game. So make sure you use that. At eighty percent, you got the awesome Shelby Daytona as well. When we look at summer, at fifty percent, we have the Toyota Supra, the nineteen ninety-two version. And at 80%, the 2018 Mercedes-Benz GT4. Now for our photo challenge, we have hashtag Roman Roadster. You have to take a photo of any modern sports car in the Mortimer Gardens. What I love about the Mortimer Gardens is you've got a very scenic looking place, but filled with ramps as well. So your photo could be sort of looking at the almost the beauty of the world, or you can go and have a lot of fun with it and you know, jump over some ramps. Moving on. Uh, we've got the chance to get the BMW Z4 in the trial, a good old sport, and we're bringing back a, a showcase remix motocross purposes as well. And uh, like we said earlier, you can get your Corvette C8 by completing the Find New Roads Seasonal Championship. Alongside that, you have the opportunity to get the Ford GT70 and the Bugatti Chiron, as well as some other cool prizes too. Moving on to Autumn, at 50%, you'll be getting the GMC Typhoon. And at 80%, it is the beautiful Porsche Emery 356C. 
For our photo challenge, we have hashtag housewarming. We have to take a photo of your car with the Gables. Now, the Gables is actually a player house, and it's the first player house we give you when you come to Horizon for free as a thank you for all your stunt work with Mike Steele. So um, that that's the house that we use for that uh, photo challenge. Moving on, you have the opportunity to get the Jaguar I-Pace again in the trial and the 2016 Renault Clio. And we look towards the other seasonal championships. We've got some clothing. We've got the Forza, uh, the, Forza the, the Volkswagen gear, and the 1990 Porsche 911 as well. Moving on to uh, winter. So the Chevy Camaro, which we looked at earlier, the IROC, you can get that uh, from completing 50% of the winter season. And at 80%, you've got the chance to get the McLaren 600LT. For our photo challenge, we have hashtag landing rover. You've got to take a land rover and take it to the airstrip. Now, I love this photo because it's jumping off a ramp. There's quite a lot of ramps at the uh, the airstrip, so I would love to see a land rover mid-barrel roll for some of these photos. <laughs> um, I think that would be quite cool, so see if you can do that. Uh, moving on, we have the chance to get the Volkswagen Golf for 2010, and uh, we also bring in the Assault on the Control Room uh, Showcase remix, that awesome Halo-themed showcase. And yeah, we also got the chance to get the, the GMC Cyclone, we've got the Jeep Wrangler, the Bertie design, as well as some uh, cosmetics as well, which is cool. And then when we move on to spring, at 50%, we're getting the Bentley Turbo R, the very sophisticated car. And then the other end of the spectrum at 80%, you get the Formula Drift Nissan 370Z. For our photo challenge, we have hashtag Royal Miles Per Hour, where you have to take a photo of any hypercar with Edinburgh Castle. Uh, obviously, that's a landmark that can be seen from quite a way off, so have some fun with that one. And moving on, we have the chance to get the 1974 Toyota Celica in the trial. And last but not least, the Honda S800, the car we just looked at, the, the very quaint car. Uh, you can get that by completing that 70s championship. Uh, alongside that, you've got the chance to get the Bentley 8-litre as well as some other cool prizes. It's just off screen, but the monthly rivals will be using the Corvette C8 as well. So if you think you are the best driver at the C8, make sure you put in your time for that as well. And there we have it. Very nice. I'm always a big fan of seeing the Celica come back. Anyone who's not got that, <laughs> make sure you go get it. Personal fave. Well, the Series 31 update actually goes live tomorrow. That is January 12th, you know, wherever you are. Uh, but as always, Mike Davis, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to the both of you. So from me and everyone in chat, thanks for joining us and have a wonderful 2021. Thanks.